pick up a game for the first time, you may wonder to yourself, who should I play as first? Now to some, this is a tricky question. Sometimes people will pick a character based on their abilities. Some will do it solely on their appearance, and others by recommendation, but I think, above all else, our decision to pick up a character can be influenced on just a hunch. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, I am Jazzy P, and today, we're moving out of the legends that you need to buy into the more readily available ones. Now, if you've watched my recent update video, which was kind of a while ago, sorry about that, but I mean, you'd know that this is coming, this specific one, and you'd know that I wouldn't be doing it alone. Yeah, uh, joining me today to assure you that you'd be getting everything that you need to know before dropping in as Pathfinder is my best friend and brother in arms, Meta50, who just so happens to be a hardcore Pathfinder main. But, for right now, you want to know about the mysterious Marvin known as Pathfinder. Now, what better place to start than with his backstory? As you may have guessed from his posture and attitude, Pathfinder is the definition of optimism, despite the circumstances of how he came to be. Decades before, whenever the fuck this shit's supposed to take place, and I honestly have no idea what year it is, but a Marvin, or mobile robotic versatile entity that was modified to specialize in location scouting and surveying, booted up in an abandoned laboratory with no fucking clue who he is, who created him, or why, which is basically everyone under 20 nowadays. The only hint Pathfinder had to his identity was him being a Marvin, so he set off in search of his creator. In the time between then and now, Pathfinder learned a lot in his travels, but hasn't come any closer to finding Nemo. But after all his endless searching, with no luck, he's never given up hope and joined the Apex Games to gain a following. Hey, like me! And draw the attention of his creator. Now, before I read this last line, yes, I want you to know that I am in fact thinking of racist jokes, but don't want to get further demonetized, even though... You know, the song is copyrighted, so... Just, 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 just know we're thinking of the same shit. In the meantime, Pathfinder has remained enthusiastic and helpful while always ready to make new friends and immediately kill them or leave them for dead to get their shit. Like the rest of us. Now, let's keep the ball rolling and give Meta a chance to shine because he wanted to help me with the script for some reason and move into Pathfinder's abilities. You have at your disposal Pathfinder's passive insider knowledge. Insider Knowledge is activated when you fist a survey beacon to gain the location of the next ring, which is indicated by a green circle on the map. To find these beacons, you need to take a look at your map. These sort of beacon icons are what you're looking for, and can be displayed on your teammates' maps as well. A tip that even though the beacon disappears on the map, it's still usable. Something else to note on this is that you can only survey one ring at a time. This is most likely a balancing thing, which I'm perfectly fine with. The ability to know where the next ring is when you're against the last squad is so invaluable when you get locked into a stalemate, it's just magnificent. Now, I think the main attraction to Pathfinder is of course his scrapple hook, which also ties into the main benefit of being Pathfinder, which is your mobility. And I don't really mean that in the sense of he's good in the form of speed, like Octane, but really in traversing the terrain. Pathfinder's grapple has multiple applications that you can, you know, you can use to get the jump on enemies with, you can slingshot you to where you need to be, you know, the stuff that I'll either get into in a minute, or that'll expand upon. When you use your grapple, there is about a 12 second cooldown time, which honestly isn't the worst thing in the world, but it does help if you find a golden helmet so you can, you know, you can swing around more often than you normally would. A trick that I learned pretty early on is that you can press circle or B, depending on the console, to detach your hook so you won't have to be awkwardly swinging around waiting for it to go back into your arm. Something I didn't know before making this video is that you can use your grapple to get onto a zipline. And this is pretty handy when you deploy your ultimate and don't really want to wait that long or if you need to get out of a firefight fast. But as you may have noticed, ziplines aren't really that wide of a target, so you're going to need to be pretty accurate if you actually want to hit these things. Another thing is that unless you specifically want to grab a ledge, the best way 
to use a grapple is to rotate your stick away from where you want to go. Other than that, all you really need to be mindful of is how you hit the ground because depending on your trajectory and really where you're landing on, you can completely ruin your momentum. So say if you do this on wherever and then you land on a slope, you can use the momentum to go pretty fucking far and probably down a target without them even really know what hit them. And you know, just to like throw this out there, unlike other legends, Pathfinder's grapple and really all of his other abilities are more passive than others. Now, what I mean by that is you're more likely to be using this subconsciously as opposed to someone like Caustic, where you need to strategically place your just wherever, or you need to be mindful of what you're doing. Unless you pull a scorpion with your grapple, that is. It, and, and it, it may sound cool, but I do not advise doing this, because when you're doing this, your weapons are disabled, and the enemies st can still shoot you, so, like, I only really recommend it if they're super weak and attempting to escape, or if you have a shotgun, or, you know, you're a dick like Meta. Last up, we have Pathfinder's Ultimate, which is simply a zipline gun. The zipline gun is basic, but it's pretty much just the grapple on steroids. It can reach farther, and it's a permanent method of getting around. As I mentioned previously in my Octane guide, it allows others to use it like with any other zipline of the map, but it can also be used by either friend or foe. My best recommendation is to use it to help teammates get around the map faster, or you can use it to bait your enemies into thinking you're actually retarded enough to use a zipline in the middle of a firefight. A tip that this thick boy wants to give out is that if you and your team are pinned down, he advises you to use the zipline and position it in the general vicinity of an enemy who has a height advantage. What this will do is it'll hopefully pressure the enemy into moving somewhere that gives you the advantage. You can set one up and then when you're almost to your destination, detach and use your grapple to get to a different part of the platform to surprise an enemy and get an easy kill. But other than that, it's less of a trump card and more of a tool. There's honestly not that many tips I can give you of how to use it best. It's a zipline. Just fucking use it as a zipline. <laughs> As I've been saying throughout the video, Pathfinder's kit is based upon moving around and being able to traverse the terrain, unlike someone like Octane, who's purely speed. Because of this, it's very hard to predict where he'll attack from, especially if it's an experienced Pathfinder. A tip that Thick Boy Supreme suggests is that you must always have the high ground, be it from grappling or ziplining onto roofs, buildings, cliffs, mountains, or rocks. Pathfinder is a support character above all else, so he is less successful at being a one-man army, so if you're more of a Rambo-esque player, you'll probably want to pick another legend. My tip really builds off of metas in that you should always keep on the move. You want to keep the enemy guessing by using your grapples and move around by slingshotting your way into areas that they're not paying attention to. You have the capability of moving around the way no one else can, so utilize it well. Aside from that, Pathfinder is another really good pick for team-based strategy and works flawlessly with tight coordination. If I were to suggest my ideal team to you, I would hit you with Bloodhound and Octane. Now, since I've been suggesting Bloodhound for literally every guide I've made so far, I want to start off by saying that since this scan can mark enemies for everyone in your squad and through buildings, it's valuable to have that and have your Pathfinder swoop in and get the kill with how he can move around. I also suggested Octane because if you have a Bloodhound scan and if you as Pathfinder can't get to the target, it's amazing to have the speed of an Octane charge the enemy to finish him off. Mirage can also be swapped in too, as when his decoy is shot, Mirage will know where the shooter is for a split second and ping them, making it useful for the Pathfinder to sling in and exterminate them! And that's good to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Pathfinder is a fucking blast for me to play because he's just so fun and he's actually the first person I main when I started on my own account and the only legend that meta plays because fuck variety, I need to look like a purple cyclops robot. Because of that, he does outperform the shit out of me as Pathfinder, but it's not like that's been a real fucking problem in general though. Our gaming careers have always been just like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. But um, other than that shit, 
Holy fuck, this took a while to make. Not because, really, it was like a legitimate challenge to get the footage. Well, I mean, it was for certain bits, but I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3, so it's fucking with my ability to work on this, really, so I'll try to not be a lazy shit for the next one. And I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Meta50 again for giving me his footage and helping me with the script, even though you wrote it while you were basically fucking dead, thanks for that. But other than that, the next guide is probably going to be... Probably gonna be either Bangalore or Gibraltar or fucking I don't know. Um, if you want to see someone specific in the next one, uh, you can. You're more than welcome to go and comment down in the comment section for comments and such, and um, I'll probably do that. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.